Phew, I've been absent for a while, I know guys, but it's been slim pickings as of late when it comes to Resident Evil 7 news, am I right? Well, lucky for you then, because thanks to Mr. Polito, who's currently had more shoutouts on my channel than I've had cigarettes today, I could bring you some new gameplay for Resident Evil 7 from both Eurogamer and IGN's channel and give you my thoughts and impressions, as well as a roundup of what was talked about and shown, some of which you may not have clocked onto. So this demo took place in Japan and the gameplay starts approximately half an hour into the game. Some of the locations here are ones we'll recognise from various leaked and released images from the past few months, such as the room I speculated to be Ethan's apartment, as well as the famous dinner scene in which Jack tried to feed Ethan some delicious intestine stew. I actually want to talk more about Jack Baker in this video. My impressions of Jack didn't really remind me of Nemesis like a lot of other people likened him to, as much as he did of the Xenomorph in Alien Isolation. The fact that you have to hide from Jack, and indeed Marguerite, while exploring and solving puzzles, really brought back memories of trying to do the same thing in Isolation. And if you've given that game a lot of your attention, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Jack and Marguerite's involvement in Resident Evil 7 seems more so than Nemesis in Resident Evil 3. There just seems to be a lot more provocation from these two. Speaking of Jack and Marguerite, Jack really doesn't give a fuck, does he? He's able to smash through walls, as we've already seen him do in the Family Meal trailer, but also eliminate possible obstacles between you and him, like the Family Meal table he smashes here. So if you think you're going to be safe by playing Ring and Ring of Roses around a table with this fucker, you're going to want to think of another game plan. I'm sorry, but you're shit out of luck on this one. And as for Marguerite, apart from being as batshit crazy as one of Oliver Reed's drinking sessions, she's now confirmed to be able to make like the pain in Metal Gear Solid 3 and shoot wasps at you. What the fuck? Now I realise the pain shot fucking hornets at you, but it's the same fucking difference. I don't like this concept guys, I don't think I do anyway when I saw this. I kind of thought it was a bit too silly, even for a Resident Evil title. That's just how I feel at the moment regarding this particular concept. Moving on then, that weird ass fucker who looks across between a regenerator and swamp thing is known as Moldit, or The Moldit. Now the Moldit sounds plural, doesn't it? Well, that's right, because these things are also confirmed to come in fucking packs. Oh Christ. This is where, when watching the video for the first time, I began to feel a little bit of a burst bubble here, guys. It was a bit too much information. I mean, I would have loved to have come across a pack of these guys without knowing beforehand, but alas, I'm taking one, or in this case, ten for the team, in order to make this video for you guys. So, you best give me a thumbs up and share this video for my sacrifice, you feel me? Sticking with the molded then, this bit of information was something a lot of you may have missed. But the guys in the IGN demo very quickly gave away the method of killing these things, and that is quite simply a few good rounds to the head. A bit anticlimactic, isn't it? I would have thought weed killer or some shit. Anyway, these things may actually be some of the Baker's past victims, as was hinted in the Eurogamer video. Apparently, the Bakers may have some power over these monstrosities. Maybe they threaten them with some alone time with Marguerite and her rendition of Showgirls, who knows? You're thinking about it now, aren't you? You'll also notice during these videos that there appears to be a lot of covered hanging corpses. I wonder if these play any part to the Moldits or their past victims. Who knows? Okay, so now I'm going to talk to you about the hint system in the game. There isn't one. You'll have no clue on how to defeat various enemies or indeed how to unlock certain doors and solve many of the Resident Evil-esque puzzles in the game. Now this is a great thing in my book and while this may get frustrating at times, means that solving these various elements will bring you greater gratification and satisfaction. This is how it should be. Of course, there'll also be the internet to help you out if you get stuck anyway, so there's always that. But seriously, guys, make like Neil Buchanan when playing this game and try it yourself. You'll feel better for it. With that, there's also going to be a constant feeling of helplessness. There'll be many times you'll be facing various situations and enemies with no clue on what the fuck to do. This, of course, will add even more to the survival horror aspect, which we all wanted anyway. I just hope those Resident Evil action orientated games haven't been spoiling you guys. Finally then, the tapes. It was confirmed on Eurogamer's video that there'll be some familiar faces in some of the found footage tapes. I of course upon hearing this thought, I can't wait to see who turns up, but then thought, maybe she's talking about someone from the beginning hour demo. I seriously think it would be the former, and actually touched on this on one of my Resident Evil theory videos, so I'd just like to take this time to say I was right. I'm amazing, let's just move the fuck on.
I am very curious to see who these familiar faces will be, and I'll be more than unimpressed if Capcom decides to show any of them in any of their latest trailers. If that happens, I'm going to take all my savings from my bank account, fly to Capcom's headquarters, walk outside their offices, and scream until my balls drop off. Okay, that's taking it a little bit too far, but I will be angry. Don't make me angry, Capcom, okay? You're winning a lot of us back. Just don't fuck this up. That's it. Simples. So overall, guys, I was happy with these new pieces of information and gameplay, but a little bit deflated with the amount that was actually shown. I'm still really looking forward to this game. I get the feeling that the game will require quite a bit of work, and what I mean by that is, well, if, uh, if I compare it to Dead Rising, it might make a little bit more sense. Dead Rising is a fun game, but saving all those civilians whilst dodging zombies, etc., felt more like work. That's one thing that concerns me with Resident Evil 7. I'm sure I'm wrong, and I hope I am. I just hope that it's as challenging as it is fun. We've got less than two months to wait until this game drops, guys. Very exciting stuff now. And this week sees the PlayStation Experience hit on December 3rd and 4th, which could show the next Resident Evil trailer. Very exciting stuff as well. And if that happens, I'll do a reaction video to that. And indeed, the final piece of the beginning hour demo, which is likely to drop in the coming weeks. Now this is the part where I ask you all to give this video a big fat juicy thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and proceed to tell all of you who thumbs down this video to get a life and fuck yourselves. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, family and loved ones, and subscribe to be welcome to the family son, or daughter if you're a girl, whichever you are, whatever. I'll also link the two videos down in the description so you can check them out for yourselves if you haven't already. There's a few tidbits that I left out, but they're nothing we didn't really already know. So feel free to comment down below your thoughts regarding the latest gameplay information, and I'll be sure to respond to as many as I can. Thank you very much for watching, guys. My name's Danny, and I'm the 420p guy.